Council for More on Finance. We're joined by the Executive Director of Bourse Communications, Rod North. Great to see you, Rod. Thanks Good for morning. coming Good in. I was fascinated to see that uh, uh, Alan Joyce is the latest CEO, the CEO of Qantas, uh, adding to what's becoming quite a long list, saying no to his bonus. Yes, it's been very interesting, hasn't it? Because at this time last year, I think everyone was happy to take their bonuses. And of course, uh, you know, their uh, company performance of a lot of companies hasn't uh, necessarily done that well. So I think that uh, to show some sort of restraint at the moment, I think it's probably not a bad idea. And I think um, a lot of sort of market observers and I suppose the public are still doing a pretty tough out there. So I think they find it pretty hard when, you know, you see in one case, you've got a CEO that uh, someone's managed to calculate, I think was earning something like $63,000 a day, you mm. know, when some people, uh, you know, are not even earning that uh, over a year. So I think, you know, we really need to have a long sort of hard look at um, particularly some of those companies that are, you know, performing exceptionally well and ca can pay those sort of bonuses. And I think, you know, it perhaps reflects a bit on maybe some of the banks and we need to be looking at the banks and thinking, well, you know, everyone else is sort of sharing the burden of taxes, maybe uh, might be time to reopen having a look at uh, whether banks should be paying some sort of super profits tax. Perhaps. Now uh, we're in the midst of company reporting season and some fairly grim results out yesterday. Yes, I mean the one that was a bit of a, a shocker, although uh, it's all relative, isn't it, was Blue Scope Steel. Um, they uh, you know, came in with a $1.4 billion loss, but it wasn't as bad as the previous year, which was $1.5 billion. But the interesting thing I think about a lot of these companies is that people forget Blue Scope Steel shares back in 2007 were seven dollars they're now 39 cents so I suppose uh, it is showing you that our market in a lot of cases is still trading you know at or near the sort of uh, global financial crisis low mm -hmm. so this is where at some point in time in a lot of companies the one key thing which I think has been uh, impressive is that companies if they can either maintain or improve their dividends at least shareholders I mean you wouldn't be too happy if you paid seven dollars for the shares and they're now 39 cents but at least you're getting a 30 cent a share dividend so a lot of companies in Australia have been able to maintain maintain or improve their dividends. So that will ultimately mean that the share market will start to move up and I think a lot of analysts are sort of starting to have a good close look at it thinking uh, in the history of the share market in 125 years you can often see a time where you get a calendar year on year gain of 50 percent so you wouldn't want to be in cash if we if that happens and and that's a, a distinct possibility over the next few years are you seeing that kind of fluctuation happening then in the market in terms of moving because so many people have had that flight to yes. cash and, and moving out of stocks and I think more so that people are in cash and fixed interest because we have seen a bit of movement in bond markets over the last week and I think a lot of people are realising well perhaps if, if growth you know starts to come back into the market and I mean you've just seen how spectacularly well Apple's performed and a lot of the US companies have performed very well and the Dow's well over 13,000 our market is sort of languishing very significantly so it's a matter of trying to pick which are going to be the Apple uh, type stocks in the Australian market over the next few years and I think there could be some fairly significant gains there. And just very quickly, the RBA minutes out today. Keenly RBA observed. minutes out today, yes, and of course the uh, Reserve Bank, uh, Governor Glenn Stevens also meets on Friday in Canberra, and I think we're really waiting to see, uh, you know, what, what sort of comes there, but unlikely that we'll see any further decreases in the cash rate at the moment. It's very much dependent on outlook for inflation and jobs and so forth, although uh, many analysts are still sort of predicting there might be one more uh, cut to bring the cash rate back from 3.5% maybe to 3.25, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. With bated breath. Good we to see will. you, Rod. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, coming up, we'll take you to Sydney where the Navy frigate.